Hey guys, welcome to the first video in my series documenting the build process of my first homemade fly reel. I'm just going to jump right into it. What you're looking at is my design for an open drag 8 weight fly reel. Not to say this won't change along the way, but you get the general idea. It's a fairly simple design as far as saltwater fly reels go, and those words are probably going to bite me in the butt later. So this is a cutaway view showing all the major stuff going on inside. Open drag pretty much just means this reel will use a large cork surface between the spool and the frame to provide the friction as opposed to a stack of drag washers. The first thing we're going to build is the reel foot, so let's get right into it. Now that we've finished roughing out the piece, we can begin squaring it up on the mill. For the reel foot to fit on the rod, we have to match the diameter of the reel seat. To do this, we're going to use this 3 quarter inch ball end mill to carve out the bottom of the foot. So this is what happens when you think your rotary table can fit beside your vise, but it can't.
next operation here is the radius cut for the frame of the reel to sit in. We're going to do this on the rotary table. The cuts here are light to ensure the best side cutting finish possible. This is going to be a finish pass all in one. Before we start cutting on a lathe, we're going to hog out as much of the material as possible on the sides using our 3 8 end mill. This hole will hold the piece on the mandrel while we're cutting the tape around the lathe. The mandrel will be cut from a piece of 6061 aluminum down to a 3 quarter inch diameter to match the real seat. Holding the caliper with this camera in the way is incredibly awkward. This hole is how we're going to attach the real seat to the mandrel for the layout operation.
The compound here is set to a 7.5 degree angle to meet industry standards for real seed tapers. Gonna give it a quick sand around the corners, then move up to a thousand grit wet sandpaper to even out some scratches. And here's the finished product. If you like the video, please subscribe and like my channel. And uh, I'll be making more of these, hopefully every couple of weeks or so, if not quicker. We'll see.